Hello guys, here's another Halloween haul, but before I start, I would like to share something really quick with you. So I got this in the mail. This is an awesome vintage inspired piece. This was given to me by my friend Leather and Jade. She used to have, or she still has a YouTube channel, but she doesn't really make videos anymore. So she hangs out more on Instagram and she makes these vintage inspired pieces and each one is unique, um, no one item looks like the other one and uh, she uses vintage items also to create these amazing uh, Halloween decorations and she signs each one of them. Uh, this tin can in itself is a vintage piece and it's a vaporizer, I guess they to kill moths or something and you see her signature there. Just every detail, every single Thing on this is like very uh, detailed like the pumpkins there the candy corn and then there's that black cat there and the face and I believe this pumpkin it's made out of um, of some sort of resin or something uh, he has a crack on his face but it's okay and I think that just gives it like a, like a more uh, of a style. So this is the main piece of this Halloween surprise. And let me show you really quick what else she, she uh, included. So she gave me these fangs. I love vampire stuff. And then she included, I'm not sure what these are. I'm not sure if they're true vintage uh, pieces or are they vintage inspired, but I'm not sure what they are for. I'll ask her, I don't know if anybody out there knows what these are for. And she sent a little card and it contains a note uh, on the back side. Uh, and again, very vintage inspired looking. And then she gave me a sign. I've never bought a Halloween sign for myself. This is the first one ever, and I'm probably going to take this to work. But just really amazing details on this Halloween sign, or signage, I'm not sure what you guys call these. So I'll definitely hang that up at work. And all that stuff came in this orange bag here. And then she sent me a uh, hand sanitizer, What? Uh, how appropriate for this day and age we're living in. And it's called Vampire Blood, how cool is that? And then she sent me a little button as well. This face is actually her own creation and she made a button out of it. And she signed it here. It's very small for you to see it. She signs every little piece she makes because they're unique. Again, not, no one item looks like the other one. And then last but not least, she included this uh, cloth here. How cool is this? It has vampire fangs on it with blood and now the haul so nine and cents okay so i'm going to start, start with nine and cents stores they came out with these novelty uh figurines and of course they're always horribly painted but i think that's what makes them special so it's a cat and he's very detailed you can see his candy bag there it's a cat and it's purple and he has like that fish bone on his costume and he's dressed up as a clown ready to go trick-or-treating or for the next party that he's going to be invited to and then i got this one also and this one is just a pumpkin and he's in costume as well and i guess this is part of his costume and this is his face and uh, so really cool. And then there's this one. I'm not really sure what this is. I'd like to say it's a ghost dressed up as a scarecrow or it's some kind of other goblin. I don't know what this is or maybe it's just a scarecrow, but to me it looks like a ghost dressed up like a, dressed up like a scarecrow. So these three items, they are very hot. I'm not sure if they're still available at the nine cent stores, but they were flying off the shelves really quick, but I managed to get a hold of um, a pair of each one. So that was a really nice, and 
they were not all nine and cent stores carry them. And then uh, I found this item here. So it didn't have a price on it. It didn't really look like it came from a particular place. But if you've gone to nine cent stores, this one was in the in a box with the rubber ducks. It was just there. So, but it was like it did break off of, of from a bigger piece. At least that's what the sales person told me. One of the people working at the store. And she told me to go ahead, if I liked it, to go take it to the register. So they charged me $1 for this. It has no, no ticket price, but I think it still looks cool. It's a little bit smaller than the other ones. So it really reminds me of this. They have kind of like that same face there. So, and then I got another figurine. Uh, I'm not a big fan of gnomes, but I really got this one. Uh, I really like the color and um, and it has like that ghost there. It gives it that vintage vibe. So really well made, I think. Um, so there were there, there there were three of them. So this one with the ghost, one was carrying a pumpkin and the other one was carrying a string of skulls. But this one was the only one that I liked and I really like the colors as well. And uh, so it kind of matches this gnome cup that I got. So, but maybe this will be the last gnome item that I'll ever get, maybe. And then also from the nine cent stores, I got this um, trinket holder. You could put stuff in here. So I'll probably use this in the bathroom in the meantime. And then I'll probably put, uh, I'll probably store, uh, what do you call that? Um, cotton swabs in here or cotton balls most likely cotton swabs and then once I'm done with it then I'll wash it even though it's not going to get dirty in the bathroom because I'm just going to put cotton swabs in there but um, I'll still wash it after I finish using it and then store it away for next year and use it for another different purpose and then I got a shelf sitter another vintage inspired cat this one was two dollars and he looks really cool, he or she. And I feel like I'm getting a lot of cat items, but that's okay, I do kind of like cats anyway. And I could even sit him or her on this thing, see? Really cool. And speak about things, so this one I got it from the 90 cent stores as well. It's actually a candle holder, but I mainly use them to, again, to display stuff. I could even put a pumpkin on here like this see these are coming really handy and um, I just like the color I don't know it looks very fall and this one was actually two dollars it wasn't one dollar so they had a shorter one for one dollar but I got the taller one and then also I got this one from an cents store and this one is a it says happy Halloween it's a banner it's very easy to stow away but I really like the graphics a lot so nine and ten stores came out with a lot of vintage inspired items this year maybe they'll continue on with the trend maybe next year they'll bring more items i hope they do because honestly i really like these so this is another banner that i got and um this one says hunting night and it's a pumpkin very cool uh graphics as well and um, i think i rather for them to bring more vintage inspired items rather than Day of the Dead, I'm kind of getting tired of Day of the Dead. It seems like it's always the same thing. They don't really change when it comes to that. Okay, so now uh, on to the um, so Dollar Tree. So this is the only item I got at Dollar Tree and also got a, a, a bag of napkins. But they didn't really have much. But I really like the way this movie uh, looked. It, and it, it's called... Co Covenant, and I think it's a witch slash cult movie, and it says they hide in plain sight. It looks really cool. So last year I did a witch theme, and I feel like that really inspired me to check out more witch-related movies or um, cult-related movies. And then I had gone to a um, to a garage sale, and I found this this uh, table runner here. It's very long, by the way. I just like the way it looks and uh, they sold it to me for $5. I washed it already. And then I went to this 
it's one of those discount stores, so it's getting it's getting time to for candle season to burn candles, and this one is a non drip, so they give you ten candles for five dollars. I think that's a pretty reasonable price. And then I found um, I've never gone to this store before, but I don't know if you guys if you guys have heard of Five Below. I think that's what it's called. So I found these masks. They look really cool, and um, so they'll definitely come in handy. These are only one dollar as well. And then I went and then I went to Ross, and I found uh, these napkin. I mean, kitchen towels. And they um, they don't dry really well, but I'm already using them. They gave me two, but I really like the the, the picture on it, the graphics. So I really like it. Um, it's not too bad. It's not overly bad. And then I got this one from Ross as well. This one didn't have a sticker price. It was just there, and um, so I took it to the cash register, and they charged me four ninety nine for this. Um, I, they were going to say six ninety nine, but there was this item that looked better than this, and I didn't get that item. So instead of getting that, I got this, and they charged me four ninety nine for this, which was the price tag on the other item that I didn't end up getting. But really cool. I was going to spray paint this black, but I'm just going to leave it as is because I'm just going to use it for Halloween. And the color really stands out versus if it were black, it would just blend in with every other stuff that I have. You could even put a pumpkin there as well. So again, I mainly got this to display other stuff. And then I also got this one from Ross. Uh, it's for placemats. Really cool. Right? And then I went to Marshalls and I found this really cool item here it's for a dip and it's got cats on there this can be used throughout the year and then it comes with like a little spoon to to um put to spread the the, the dip on your chips or whatever so this one is really cool i think they had a lot of these actually so i guess people don't really like them they weren't they're not popular but at least um so that one Marshall that I went, I saw like eight of them or six of them at least, and I grabbed one. And then I always like to stack up on napkins to be used throughout the year. And this one I got from Marshalls, and it looks very vintage as well. And I got this one from Vons, and it kind of reminds me of this. They go really well together, right? I think so. Maybe I could use it for like a nice dinner or something with special friends. And then I got this from the 99 cent store. This one as well. And then I got this one from Dollar Tree. It has spiders on it. And last but not least, I think um, this is the best item that I found during this second haul. This is like my favorite item so far from the second haul. Um, I was looking for a canister. So, but it, but it looks really good. It comes with this really cool pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern little topper here and I'm already using it. So this is going to be used for my oatmeal bags. I could fit eight oatmeal bags in this one. Let me show you the details. You could see Snoopy on there with the moon in the back, in the background, and it says Boo. And his house is in the middle of what looks to be like a pumpkin patch or something. So again, it really has that vintage vibe. So I really like it. And this I'm going to use throughout the year, obviously. So for Halloween, I'm going to display it, but then once Halloween is over, maybe I'll keep it up until the end of the year. And then once January comes, then I'll just um, still use it, but I'll put it inside my cupboard where I don't have to look at it, but I could still use it every year. So it's um, serving two purposes. So that's it for the second haul, and I'll talk to you guys later.